seeing you again. Today we're going to the supercharger at Cerritos. Let's get charged up. Hello, this is Blue Leader and we're here at the Cerritos Supercharger where there is a total of 12 superchargers. One full star for chargers, 12 of them at 72 kV 24 7. One full star for bathrooms, the nearest one is inside stacked within 225 feet. One full star for safety, well lit outdoor parking. One full star for food and beverage, there are restaurants, mall food, and there are ice cream and cold treats across the street on 183rd. Half a star for cool factor, it is a quiet place to charge. Overall, this place gets a 4.5 TSD rating. Non-rated noteworthy mentions, this is your basic shopping mall stop. It's .76 miles from the 605 freeway south exit. The 12th charger is split in the next parking aisle. Your first name. My name is Brian. Okay, Brian, I noticed on your console you are rocking NWA. <laughs> uh, NWA, we won't say what that stands for, but they're a very famous rap group. What's your favorite NWA song? Probably Straight Outta Compton. That's Straight the classic. Straight Outta Compton. <laughs> oh my goodness. I used to rock that in high school big time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, excellent. Have you charged here in Cerritos before? Yes, I have. Can you tell us anything about the supercharging station that people should know? Um, it's generally pretty good in terms of availability. I rarely have to wait around here to get a spot. And I have noticed that at some other superchargers I get uh, reduced power. It seems to be shared between adjacent charging stations. That doesn't seem to happen here. It seems to be dedicated for each. If someone's charging in Cerritos for the first time, can you tell them about the character of the area? Yeah, it's, it's very safe and uh, it's kind of isolated here away from the rest of the, the parking lot for the mall, so easy to get into and out of. It's uh, definitely one of my preferred supercharging stations. I notice your Tesla is a P100D. Can you say anything about the P100D for anyone that doesn't know about that? Uh, that's kind of the top of line in terms of performance on the Model S, or I guess even on the uh, Model X as well, but uh, it's a fun car, for sure. Uh, do you have a fun story you'd be willing to share with us? <laughs> oh, a fun story. Well, this is actually my third Tesla. I've had one of the original Model S's back in 2012. So basically each time they come out with a new one, faster one, I kind of opted to go for that. So I'm a fan. Have you ever had to display the power of your P100D? I like to push their heads into the back of the seat. What is? What are people's reactions when you push their heads to the back of the seat? First time, it's usually a bit of shock because they're not used to that much force and freaks them out a little and uh, usually followed by some giggles. Very cool. Now, when you're in the car, that's an experience. Have you had to show the power of your Tesla to another driver? Yeah, almost on a daily basis. I find a... I read once that, you know, once you have a a Tesla, there's no such thing as uh, stopping for yellow lights anymore. You just punch it and go through. Do you have any final words of wisdom to anybody uh, thinking about getting a Tesla who's kind of on the fence? Yeah, I mean, I think just in terms of not having to maintain it, it's a, a great value. And um, you know, if you're able to take advantage of supercharging, you know, relative to spending money on gas, it's a good deal. But uh, for me, it's just the uh, the exhilaration of driving it is a great thing too, but you know, knowing that you're having a good environmental impact at the same time is pretty appealing as well. Say bye. Bye. Thank you. Thanks for letting us supercharge your Tesla destination. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Until we meet again.